What's up guys welcome back so today we'll learn how to play Intentions by Justin Bieber Feet Quavo So I'm just gonna cover every song of his new album changes which will be actually released on 14 Feb So let's just start it, don't want to speak much, I just wanna show you everything in the song uh, Going a bit fast so let's have a look at the chord first So we got uh, like 3 main chords which is our A, 4 main chords, E major, E major, B minor, D major now all the chords just are listed down in my pin comment below. So A major is actually mute 0 2 2 0. Then we got a E major which is 0 2 2 1 0 0 0. Then we have a B minor which is actually played with the index finger barring the second fret. Then we got a middle finger on third fret of the B string. Then we got the ring finger and the pinky finger on the fourth fret of the D and G string. So this is how we are playing a B minor chord. Now we got a D major chord which is actually played like mute, mute, then 0, 2, 3, 2, D major chord. Then if you just slide down two frets, it will be a uh, E. So D, E. So nice and easy, simple. So now chord progression is basically A major, then a E, then a B minor, then a D. So before jumping on that, uh, let's have a look at the intro which is actually going, uh, or the instrumental which is going throughout the whole song. And especially I use palm muting for the intro, but if you can do without palm muting, you don't know how to do it. Now what I'm doing is, look at the tab. So I'm playing part 1 first. So basically I'm holding this shape where I got my index pinky finger on the 9th fret. Then I got my middle finger on the 7th fret of the D string. So we got A9, D7 and index finger 6th fret, like this shape. This is the most comfortable shape in which you can actually play the string. So I'm playing A, D, G, D. So just see the tap. Holding the I'm playing A, D, G, D. Then I'm playing 11th fret on A, 11th fret on D. Then I'm playing 10th fret on B, 9th fret on B, 11th fret on G, 9th fret on G. And then I'm just repeating this. So that was the part one. So let's have a look at it. I'm playing it slowly. So this was part one, and the part two is exactly similar. We are doing this, holding the shape and playing. A D G D. We are playing 11th fret on A, 11th fret on G, but instead of going over here, we will just sliding from 10th fret to 12th on the B string. Then we will just play this. So look at the tab. Part 2 I am playing. So this was part 2, now if I play the part 1 and part 2 together, it will sound something like this. Then we got the third part. So for the third part, we got, we are again playing the shape. So look at that child, I am playing A, D, G, D. Then I'm playing, I'm holding the shape like this is another shape which is I'm having middle finger, middle finger on A string 7th fret and I've got my index finger barring the 7th, 6th uh, frets of the D and the G string so I'm playing it. So I'm playing A, D, G. Then again I'm playing. Then I'm playing A, D, G. Then I'm playing 4th fret. So this was part 3. Now there is another part, part 4 which is actually the extended version of this melody. So we got. Then I'm playing. I'm playing six fret on the G string. Then I'm playing seven fret on the G string. Then I'm playing six fret on the D string. Then I'm playing seven fret. So the part three and part four combined, it will be like this. So this was the entire instrumental, which is actually going throughout the whole song. 
Now I'm just gonna play it in my style, palm eating, uh, what do you learn? So you can just pause the video and then you can actually play with me. Playing it once more. One, two, three, four. Sorry, one, two, three, four. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> So this was the entire intro. Now the thing was I was not able to play palm music because I just want to focus you, focus strings on the uh, video. But like in that way, I just in that position just won't, won't be able to play that. So never mind. Let's get started with the chord section. Now the chord progression told you before A major, then a E, then a B minor, then a G. But what I like to do is I play the G, then I just skip to an E. But this is not a normal. E major chord, but it's a higher E major chord. Uh, sorry, it's a chord of E major which is in higher octave. Continuation of D. So basically, I like to strum down, down, down. So one, four down strokes on each chord, and the last D major two strokes, D major two strokes. So one, two, three. an easy strumming pattern now advanced one which I like to play uh, at the middle of the song is so what I do is on each chord I play down so basically the chord progression is down up up down down up up down but what I what I do is I just play down you just play a hit or you can just slap whatever you want depending upon your techniques so so I do so I mute and hit the guitar at the same time so I do down So this was for the oh wait, advanced rhythm. If you have any doubt in this rhythm, you can just let me know in the comment below. And the next thing is the rap. Rakio right does the rap. So in that part, you can just do palm eating in a palm and having this part of your hand on in front of the bridge. You get a soft sound. You can just strum the chords down, down, down. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. One, two That's it for this lesson guys, I hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comment below any other song by Jason Bieber that you want to learn on guitar. See you back in our next video, bye and don't forget to subscribe.